Welcome to the Year One Phonics Workshop. The aim of this workshop is to familiarise you with some of the terminology that we use in our phonics sessions, to give you an overview of how we teach phonics, to talk to you briefly about the phonics check that is administered and what it would look like, and to discuss how you can help support your child and provide you with some useful websites. So firstly, what is phonics? Children are taught to read by breaking down words into separate sounds or phonemes. This is called segmenting. They're then taught how to blend these sounds together to read the whole word. There are around 40 different sounds for your children to learn. Children have a 20 minute phonics session each day and they're encouraged to use the strategies learnt in this session to read and write in other lessons. They're taught to identify sounds in spoken words, to recognise the common spellings of each phoneme, to blend phonemes into words for reading as well as segment words into phonemes for spelling. So before we continue, we'll go over some definitions. These are all terms and words that we use daily with your children during their phonics sessions. So a phoneme is the smallest unit of sound in a word and can be represented in more than one way. For example, in cat, kennel and chick, the k sound is represented in three different ways. A grapheme are the letters that represent a phoneme. For example, a, i together make the a sound. The same grapheme may represent more than one phoneme. For example, in the word me and met, the E makes the E sound in me and the E sound in met. A digraph are two letters which make one sound. Examples of consonant digraphs are sh, k, th, and l. A vowel digraph contains at least one vowel. Examples include a, e, r, and oi. A trigraph are three letters which make one sound. For example, igh making the i sound. A split digraph is a digraph in which the two letters are not next to each other. For example, in the word make, the A and the E together make the A sound, but they are split by the K sound. Segmenting is identifying the individual sounds in a spoken word, breaking a word down into H, I, M. Blending is recognising the letters and sounds in a written word, for example, K, up and merging or synthesising them in the order in which they're written to pronounce the word, cup. At Glory Farm, we use the letters and sounds scheme of work. This progresses from phase one through to phase six. In year one, we tend to focus on phases three, four, and five. It is expected that by the end of year two, children will have completed all six phases. Your children will use these sound mats regularly to support their learning. These cover the sounds taught in phases two, phase three, and phase five. There are different ways of representing the same sound and these get introduced at different points during phase two, three, and five. For example, in all of these words, they all have the A sound represented in a different way. Equally, sometimes the same letters can make a different sound. In all of these, the EA makes a different sound. For example, E in mean or E in bread, and both E and E in read or read. A, a, a typical phonics lesson consists of revisiting and reviewing previously learnt sounds, teaching a new sound in the corresponding grapheme, practicing reading and spelling words with our new letters applying, reading sentences and stories containing the new letters, and then assessing the children's knowledge. We also encourage all children to add sound buttons during our lessons. In the example here, you can see that we use a line to go underneath a digraph or a trigraph and a dot under a single phoneme. For example, in the word van, three separate phonemes, three dots. The word home contains a split digraph so we link the O and the E together to make the O sound and leaves L, E, V, S contains digraphs and single phonemes. 